learners back again uh, in last video we have discussed about the effect of substituent on acidity of phenol firstly we have discussed about the acidity of phenol then effect of substituent on acidity of phenol and lastly we have discussed that electron withdrawing group we have done electron withdrawing group effect on acidity of phenol how this group factored the phenol acidity but today what we'll be taking we will be taking the electron donating group electron donating group how this group will affect the acidity of phenol as we know electron donating group are the group which withdraws electron electron donating group which releases yeah provides the electron here we are taking some examples such as amino hydroxy alkoxy and alkyl these are the electron donating group what happens when we said that phenoxide ions are more stable if some electron donating group is present on this phenoxide group what will happen if electron donating group is present on this phenoxide group phenoxide ion so here we are having phenoxide ion and some electron donating group is attached with this what will happen to the ring when electron donating group is attached to this phenoxide ion it will releases or donates its electron to this which will destabilize it d stabilize the ion which ion phenoxide ion this is due to the uh, it affects the intensity of this negative charge related to the phenol so firstly we know that it donates the electron electron donation affects the negative charge which uh, makes the destabilizing the ion and due to this destabilizing the acidic strength will decrease will decrease we said that electron donating group will withdraw its electron so due to the stability was attained but here this electron donating group is donating the electron to this phenoxide due to which acidic strength will decrease why for this we are taking some example first i am taking the acidic strength of chrysols what are chrysols chrysols are when benzene is attached with electron donating group that is methyl this is your not para this is your meta chrysol this is your meta chrysol and in the same way if uh, position of methyl is 2 then that is the ortho chrysol if position of chrysol is 3 this one is 1 2 3 this is your meta chrysol if position is 4 this is your para chrysol these are the position of methyl group position of methyl group see why methyl group is destabilizing this ion and why the acidic strength is decreasing for this what we are doing we'll see the methyl group behavior so for, as well as as well as hyper conjugation effect hyper conjugation effect methyl is showing, showing your plus effect as well as hyper conjugation effect this we have discussed earlier what is plus i effect and what is hyper conjugation effect hyper conjugation here in methyl group hyper conjugation dominates hyper conjugation dominates we said that hyper conjugation is also known as no bond resonance we have discussed about all this fine 
both effects this plus i effect and hyperconjugation what they play what role they play in the uh, stability of phenoxide and what they do both effect increases the electron density in the oh bond what happens see if electron density is increased on this oh bond then release of h positive is difficult if release of h positive is difficult that means that will become weak acid because we know what is acid which donates h positive ion that is the acid we know so weak acid is that which releases h positive but if re this release is difficult that means that becomes a weaker acid okay and uh, if we take crystal ortho para and meta suppose we are having ortho para and meta crystal this one is your ortho this one is your meta and this one is your para suppose we are having this one is your ortho crystal this one is your meta crystal and this one is your para crystal if we compare the acidic strength of these what will happen see hyperconjugation will operate more in ortho and para here hyperconjugation dominates in here also hyperconjugation dominates but in meta position it does not play much role therefore hyperconjugation will not affect the acidic strength of this meta crystal fine so this will become a strong acid as compared to ortho and para in case of ortho crystal plus i effect dominates plus i effect dominates thus in comparison to here see in meta crystal St stronger acid due to hy uh, no hyperconjugation no if uh, does not affect hy uh, hyperconjugation does not show any effect but in case of para and orthocrystal plus i effect dominates in case of uh, orthocrystal so here two effects are dominating so that's why uh, that's why it becomes weaker acid fine so what will be the order so order will be so this is your acidic behavior phenol is greater more acidic than metacrisol which is more acidic than paracrisol and which is further acidic than orthocrisol so here orthocrisol is weaker acid and metacrisol is stronger acid as compared to the paraphenol and orthocrisol and meta is due to hyperconjugation uh, no effect on hyperconjugation yeah very little so paracrisol and orthocrisol paracrisol only shows uh, hyperconjugation and orthocrisol both effects hyperconjugation as well as the plus i effect that which makes it weaker acid so this is all about your the acidic strength of electron withdrawing group and uh, earlier we have done electron with uh, withdrawing uh, this is all about your electron donating group earlier we have done electron withdrawing group so this is the effect of substrate on the acidic behavior of your phenol so don't forget to like and subscribe the video thank you for watching